Hi guys, it's me and team here, and welcome back to Biking Failure. Yeah, like I said, I really don't like the uh, the mock bike in this game. It took me so long to get used to it, and I'm still not good with it even then. But and yeah, I get really tentative here because I don't want to screw it up. But of course, epically screw it up anyway. But then I get a stroke of luck and get right back there and do it correctly somehow. Oh my god. Well. Gotta be happy with that. So, yeah. And then here we have a really tough battle, alright? Yeah. Yeah, that was very hard. So, I'm gonna name this guy uh, M. Jackson, after the uh, famous dude. And um, that's also in honor of the video that was done uh, for Pokemon Emerald called... Uh, well, just do a YouTube search for... Pokemon Michael Jackson or Pokemon Jackson, and it, it'll probably come up. It's good stuff. I had to watch it like five times before I got tired of watching it. and It's still fun to see every now and then for its shock value to other people. Definitely recommend it. And so now I'm just teaching TMs to Michael Jackson here to increase his effectiveness. Normally one wouldn't get rid of extreme speed, but the uh, distribution of what I'm facing in the Elite Four isn't anything impressive, so that move set'll be fine. I kinda wish I went and got Ice Beam or something, but it takes too long, too much effort. Now as for this puzzle, just do as I showed. Pretty straightforward. Nothing too challenging there. And Juan here has a love disc, which is one of the worst things you can possibly use, and I kill it right away. There's really nothing too challenging about uh, this video or the next video anymore. I mean, as soon as you get legendaries in these single-player playthroughs, any semblance of challenge goes out the door, even if you don't bother level grinding. I mean, I guess I kind of have to switch out and heal now and then, or... You know, I am times four weak to ice, I suppose, so there's that. But it's really not too hard overall. Yeah, I'm getting double-teamed. And uh, lock-on, I didn't really consider a true counter to double-team, because as you see, lock-on itself has to succeed. But I get through his evasion and take him down. Yeah, that's one of those times where I really wish I had Thundershock or something and could just hit it right away. In one of my playthroughs, I actually gave T-Shock to uh, Michael Jackson here. And it worked out alright. In fact, the I mean, in retrospect, I kind of wish I used that or you know, that Ice Beam in favor of uh, Bulk Up, because I really didn't use Bulk Up a great deal. And the X items would have served the purpose equally well in the few situations where I was actually going to use it. But anyway, yeah, Sharpedo becomes an HM sleeve, kind of like the Ghost did. They had their um, 5 to 10 minutes of fame, well, at least in quad speed anyway, and then they get dumped for into the role of hidden machine slaving. And so I just go heal up and it's time to head towards Victory Road. Of course, I first I have to run around like an idiot here and then fly, sure. I don't know what I was thinking there. I also stock up on, well, one Max Repel because I realize I have enough of them. And the best items are sold after Victory Road anyway, so I just start on my way. Now here, I checked the map a couple times. I've actually gone into like a cove too early and wasted a lot of extra time trying to find my way to Victory Road once, so this time I tried to avoid doing that. And I want to avoid as many trainer battles as possible at this point. Unfortunately, that's not going so well for me, but whatever. As I really don't need levels at all anymore. And I skip the Pokemon Center and just go, and Wally back doors. No, no. Um, but I actually lost to him like the first time I played the game. He he caught me off guard a little bit there. And I let his uh psychic uh calm mind up on me. Or maybe it was the Altaria there dragon dancing. I don't remember what happened, but I had a bad type matchup and I tried to stay with it and it just got ugly and he swept me. That's embarrassing. But not as embarrassing as when I got half my team wasted by like a love disc. And that that was awful. It's like so awful. I'm proud of it as an accomplishment. It was like so epic failure. 
So yeah, now the ghost is my flash sleeve. Kick some rocks out of the way, smash some rocks. And more required fights. Or at least I think it is. Outrage is, you well, know, it's a decent move for uh, Michael Jackson. It's the same type of attack bonus. Very strong. After a couple rounds of it, you get confused. But I can just switch out Death Fodder and bypass that. And then spam healing items. So, really, uh, for what I'm doing, Outrage fits its role well. I mean, you could go into uh, the falls on the complete opposite side of the map, uh, Meteor Falls or whatever, and pick up Dragon Claw if you really care. But, just like picking up Ice Beam in the ship, um, takes too long, so we're not doing it. Another trainer taken down. Now, here I get lost a little bit. I, this is probably only like my fourth complete playthrough through the game, and the first couple were quite a long time ago, so I s slightly forget my way here, and do one unnecessary loop before I remember where I'm supposed to be going. But even so, it's not too bad. It's outrage on this dude's Pokemons. Yeah. There's a couple fights I didn't need to fight. And all for, like, minuscule experience, too, since I'm so higher, much higher level. And, uh, Ludicolo! A rain Dance. Jerk. Yeah, if we're gonna use Rain Dance, that would be one of the ones I'd use. Yeah, and here's where I realize I'm, like, right back in the place I was before. And I'm like, well, screw this. I'll just go back up here and sneak by. Now, this is the way I was supposed to go from the start. So, I just blast that out of the way, like so, and we're almost done. Well, with Victory Road, anyway. More grass types to abuse with Fly. And, yeah, Pelipper's times for it. It's electric, but I don't have it, so I just... Mack him with outrage and bypass the last two trainers. So here I am at the Elite Four. Buy a couple of revives, a couple four stores, yeah, nothing too fancy. And decide, oh hell with it, I can get one in this video. And go up. Figure my uh, setup's good enough to win since I'm so over leveled. This guy uses lots of dark types. Um, Intimidate cut my attack so I couldn't one-shot him. That frustrated me. He starts full restoring, so I just outrage, and then I'm going to switch out. And I'm a little surprised, because Sharpedo lives here. There's just, like absolutely no reason that should happen, but it happened. He, I don't know why he withdrew Absol, but okay. And i no longer being hurt by Intimidate. So at this point, I'll just sweep the rest of his team. Um, enjoy this, and I'll see you in the next and final video.